Welcome to our Lua programming tutorial. In this session, we'll dive into the power of repeat until loops. These loops are perfect for situations where you need to repeatedly execute a block of code until a certain condition is met. We'll explore how to use repeat until loops in conjunction with encryption techniques to create a robust message encryption and decryption system. Whether you're new to programming or looking to expand your knowledge, this tutorial will provide valuable insights into loop structures and their practical applications. Let's begin our journey into the world of repeat until loops. The script prompts the user to input a message to encrypt. Local key, this line declares a local variable named key without initializing it. The purpose of this variable is to store the user's input, which will be a number representing the encryption key. Repeat. This keyword marks the beginning of a repeat until loop, which is a type of loop that executes its block of code at least once and then repeats it until a specified condition is met. In this case, the loop continues until the user enters a valid input for the encryption key. To number function converts the input, which is initially a string, into a numeric value. Until keyword marks the end of the repeat until loop and specifies the condition for its continuation. If key is not nil, it means the user entered a valid numeric value, and whether key falls within the specified range, 1 to 10. If the condition is true, the loop terminates, and the program continues execution, otherwise, the loop repeats, prompting the user to enter a valid input. Local encrypt initializes a local variable with an empty string. This variable will store the encrypted message as it is being generated. Local index with the value 1 will be used as an index to traverse through each character of the original message. Repeat marks the beginning of a new repeat until loop. This loop will continue executing until the condition is true. Local encode retrieves the ASCII value of the character at the index position in the original message. The string byte function is used to convert the character to its ASCII value. The conditional statement checks if the variable encode contains a valid ASCII value, and it's not nil. If encode is valid, the code block inside the if statement will be executed. Here, the ASCII value of the character is incremented by the encryption key. This step is part of the encryption process, where each character's ASCII value is shifted by the specified key. String char, encode, converts the modified ASCII value encode back to its corresponding character and appends it to the encrypted string. This builds the encrypted message character by character. Finally, the index variable is incremented by 1 to move to the next character in the original message. This ensures that each character is processed in the encryption loop. Overall, 
these lines of code are responsible for iterating through each character of the original message, encrypting it using a specified key, and building the encrypted message string. The process continues until all characters in the message have been encrypted. To ensure our encryption and decryption processes are functional and reversible, we need to design them in a way that allows us to undo the encryption operation to retrieve the original message. Here's how we can achieve that. Use symmetric encryption algorithms where the same key is used for both encryption and decryption. This means that the key used to encrypt the message must also be used to decrypt it. Ensure that the operations performed during encryption can be reversed during decryption. For example, if we use addition to encrypt the message, shifting ASCII values by a certain amount, we must use subtraction during decryption to revert the changes. Keep track of the encryption key used for each message. Without the correct key, decryption becomes impossible. It is crucial to securely manage and share keys only with authorized parties. Create a decryption algorithm that reverses the encryption process. This algorithm should take the encrypted message and the encryption key as input and output the original plaintext message. By following these principles, we ensure that our encryption process is reversible, allowing us to decrypt the messages and retrieve the original content. This reversibility is essential for the functionality and security of our encryption system. Once we have a complete script that includes both encryption and decryption functionality, we can separate the encryption and decryption codes. In this manner, we improve code maintainability, modularity, and reusability. It also makes it easier to understand and manage each component's functionality independently. Loops allow us to iterate over each character in a string, enabling us to examine, modify, or extract information from individual characters. The repeat until loop in Lua is particularly useful for string manipulation tasks where we need to repeat a block of code until a certain condition is met. For example, we can use a repeat until loop to validate user input until it satisfies certain criteria, such as ensuring the input falls within a specified range. Lua provides a variety of built-in string functions that enable us to perform common operations on strings, such as concatenation, substring extraction, character conversion, and pattern matching. By combining loops with string functions, we can create powerful algorithms for tasks like encryption, decryption, text parsing, searching, and pattern matching. For instance, we can use loops to iterate over each character in a string and apply encryption or decryption operations using string functions like string byte and string char. Loops allow us to efficiently process strings of arbitrary length, making it possible to handle large text data or perform complex string transformations without needing to manually manipulate each character. Overall, loops and string functions complement each other to provide a versatile toolkit for working with strings in Lua, enabling developers to perform a wide range of string manipulation tasks efficiently and effectively.